even when you get your information via tools um, around the web, you don't always know, uh, actually most of them you don't know whether you should be trusting this information, how this information got to you. So I think it's, it's very important. The question here, you said information, I said knowledge. I think what we're trying to get at is where the information or knowledge, where's the truth? And how do we get to truth? And uh, getting to truth in North America and getting to truth in Zimbabwe are two different things, or in Tunisia, are two, two very different things. Uh, the sources of truth that you trust and I trust might be different. And this is what we're trying to understand. It's really important. Again, this is where we're really need help, because we need to understand how different it is here so that we can support that type of environment, your type of environment, your needs better. So maybe it's highlighting how the information is curated, maybe it's highlighting how it is produced, maybe there's different tools that we need to put, put in place to make sure that um, that type of production is, uh, is effective. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm from Tunisia. I want to, to make a remark from the beginning to now. I, I am listening to remarks and suggestions from people who are familiar, familiar with, the, with computer science and working in the domain of computer science. But if we think with the mind of someone who is working in human uh, sciences, uh, for example, I have a, a friends who are working in civilization and so on. And I encourage them to contribute in uh, Wikipedia. But what I heard is how. So I think uh, in Tunisia, for example, we have a lack of uh, understanding of Wikipedia. Uh, and I suggest to first uh, make <laughs> some educational program or some, something like this to, to let the people know and understand Wikipedia, how it works, how the, the information is created in Wikipedia. Second, to make the tools easier for them. Because they are familiar with the tools to consume information, not to produce information. And I think also we have uh, the already know because they, they are familiar, for example, here in Tunisia with the tools that Facebook offers. So what, why Wikipedia don't uh, integrate tools like that, uh, like uh, in uh, Facebook for these people who are not familiar with computer science? And we have also sessions of uh, M, uh, MOOC, the educational programs. Why Wikipedia doesn't uh, establish some kind of uh, these programs for these people? Thank you. So, great questions. Um, so you just three things. One is highlighting how it works. And um, I think that's a great idea. I think we need to think about how do we tell people, maybe there is something on, on the screen that basically says, read about how this works. Um, something simple like that. Um, and worth thinking through. And again, we're open to ideas, if you have specific ideas about how we should do this. Um, is there tools, as I've mentioned, we're working on that, and uh, there are projects that, um, that are available at this point that allow you to communicate back and forth in a Facebook-like manner, um, there's easier editing, there's a lot of work being done on that. Traditionally, um, we have not, um, the foundation hasn't been, I can, I can explain why it hasn't happened yet, but it's happening now. So we're working very, very actively on that, I hear you. Um, the education program uh, component, I think it all depends on um, the better conversation with our education team. Um, we have educational programs, it's a matter of where we're spinning them up. Um, and again, it's, a, it's just a matter of capacity and seeing results from them. So um, that's, uh, that's a good conversation to have with one afterwards. Uh, 
أي أسئلة تعرضها أو فرنسية هناك لي سنقوم بالترجمة أرجوكم تفضلوا بالسؤال
And again, please um, feel free to suggest things as well as we are uh, thinking through all these issues. Uh, the best ideas are going to come from, from you, from people who are contributing on an everyday basis. You know what's, what's needed, but you know what is missing, and, and uh, we absolutely want to hear your thoughts. Thank you. Hi, uh, this is uh, the suggestion. So, uh, my suggestion is that uh, why there is no courses in MOOCs like uh, Coursera and uh, edX. So, there is some videos for the education program and, and the website of Wikipedia. So, this is, I think, an opportunity to put uh, courses there. Okay. Is there a, 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 a project or future project for that? Thank you. Thank 
children, not only from the college students. Thank you. So, uh, uh, social media, social media question first. Um, so, I think Wikipedia and, and Wikimedia projects in general are the, um, sort of social media flipped upside down. So on social media, I think of social media as people connecting with other people they already know and uh, building on the ideas that they already have. Our projects are the opposite. Most of the time, you are interested in, in an idea or a topic and you're connecting with other people. You're expanding your network by connecting with other uh, um, other people who are interested in that idea. So it's an, in, in the world of Wikipedia, you expand your networks as opposed to connect with your networks. That said, I think uh, there are certain aspects of uh, social media that are really important uh, for us to think about and pay attention and integrate. And that, that has to do with how people communicate online, um, how they share ideas, the tools that they use, um, and how they discover and connect with each other. And this is something that we are looking at. Um, but we are looking at those tools in the context of building knowledge. So, um, you, and, and an example would be if you are interested in mathematics, you'll be connecting with other people who are interested in mathematics and will give you better tools to talk to them. So that's the social media component. Um, on the education program that is beyond uh, a college level, at the foundation, we, uh, we see our role more uh, in understanding what people are currently doing. So in different countries, there are different programs. Um, and, uh, um, and we can talk about this uh, outside of this session, but we see programs at all levels. Uh, we see programs that address all age groups uh, and uh, around the world. We do not directly say, here is the program for college level, or here is the program for um, high school, or here is the program for middle school, prescriptively at the foundation today. We may do that at some point in the future, but right now we're just trying to understand what is being done and what is working in different countries around the world. Uh, a question about children's and Wikimedia projects. I'm asking how. Uh, uh, can Wikimedia Foundation staff uh, exclude contributors from contributing in Wikimedia projects? What are policies for this? How can you be excluded? Contributors uh -huh. from editing or public uh, contributors. Okay, okay, okay. So there is a, uh, is a policy online, and I, can't, I don't want to make a mistake in reciting it right now, but we, uh, there's a published policy on, uh, uh, on the site um, that has to do with uh, terms of use. So what we do is, uh, when those terms are broken in, uh, in, in uh, pretty strong ways, uh, that's the only time we will have Yes, how do we talk about that? These rules are broken, are broken. There are ways to there are ways to prove it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, what I don't want to do is go through a particular a particular case, but sometimes because it's uh, most of the time actually when uh, when yeah, when issues arrive uh, arise, it's uh, it's something that gets looked at in, very, in a lot of detail, and uh, um, it's basically an investigation. Um, we don't we can't disclose the investigation because it's. There's a lot of uh, privacy information attached to that. Okay, thank you. So, uh, we all know that when we are going to attend a conference or an event, uh, we have expectations. So, what are your expectations for which area? We know also, as a, an organizing team, that you were, you were very supportive to us to do it. So, um, my expectation, of course, is to learn uh, about um, issues that are important to, uh, 
to, to you, uh, issues that are important to you your sphere. Uh, that's the most important thing for me, and I've already seen that on, uh, on the agenda. And of course, the other expectation is, uh, is the human connection, is, uh, is to learn and, uh, and see people and meet people face to face and to have friendly interactions and, um, and to make sure that uh, people, people are social creatures. So uh, getting connected offline as well as online is important to us so that we can do better online. So uh, it's, it's twofold. One is uh, more work, <laughs> and the second one is, is truly it is, it is a social uh, it is a social world, and I think it's really important for us to just know each other. So that when um, when I get um, when you get a request from me, or I get a request from you, or an idea from you, um, I know who I'm talking to. Uh, I want to just ask and let people know what is your vision as uh, executive director of what is the vision of the foundation to the MENA region and especially to Tunisia? So I want to go back to that uh, question about knowledge. I think we are all here to build and, um, and benefit uh, from, um, from building knowledge and, and, and delivering information to each other. And uh, I think in this region, like no other, especially in Tunisia, with its recent history of um, freedom, democracy, and uh, um, the importance of knowledge and free information cannot be underestimated. Knowledge is power, knowledge is freedom. Knowledge is our ability to step up and, uh, and lead um, and make the world what we want it to be. So I think it's, uh, this is extremely important in Tunisia. Um, and my role and my vision is to make sure that we support you with the things that you need to take that, that freedom and that power into your own hands. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we can only do so much. At the end of the day, it's you, and, and we are here to support you. Thank you so much. We have another question there.
there's uh, help, uh, uh, Arifan's uh, uh, found in pretty much all the site. It's called the Entitlement Field Dictionary. Uh, it's, com it's combined reference uh, between uh, Arabic, English, uh, Spanish, French, and, and uh, English. Uh, but uh, this is a website, but they are not like uh, uh, DVDs or CDs. Uh, for this uh, reference, they are additional language. Uh, can we find uh, uh, a database for terminology from medicine or any uh, other fields of science? We need, like, uh, in translation, we, find, uh, we, we are facing this uh, problem of uh, unified uh, reference. Yeah, this is actually a great point, and I'd like to follow up with you, of course. Um, this is the prime, primary use case, this is a great use case for Wikidata. And we're putting a lot of attention on that. So if uh, um, if there is something that you want to initiate around that, starting to build, starting to build out a repository like that, then we should talk. Uh, because it could be one of the best, one of the better use cases for that. And we can uh, we can use it as a as a pilot um, as we um, as we start to focus on that. It's great. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to do that. If, you, if you're not, for those of you who are not familiar with the Wikidata project, it's a structured data source project. So what happens is when you put an entity there, and you put an expression, let's say you, it's, a, um, it's, it's data around a disease, let's say. Um, it's, it has a, a, ways, a, a way to translate it automatically in any language, because the labels are translatable. Um, the language can be translatable, the names can be translatable as well. So this would be perfect for this. Um, and, and so I think we need to follow up and see um, and, and see if we can uh, use it as one of the um, uh, one of the things that we want to highlight and work on first. So and there's a, there's really a possibility there, a good opportunity there. So we still have four minutes. <laughs> Great question. 
Uh, it's pretty complex, and it, it does differ absolutely right. It differs by country. Um, so there's two things that we do. We work at, at the legislation level, we, uh, at the legal level. Um, we, uh, we try to understand the laws the best we can. We, can, we try to influence the, the laws that have been made. Um, and, uh, and we educate our communities about what those laws are. Um, our legal team calls, uh, um, calls people who are really interested in this weekly lawyers. These are this community members who really understand this. You know, work with, with people um, to, to make sure that everybody is up to date. Number two, our stance is always to be as conservative as possible around not removing content as much as, as, much as we can. So I, I don't know if you're familiar with it, it was, the, uh, was OTRS. This is a community organization that the Media Foundation supports. And when we receive a request for uh, takedown of content, it gets processed uh, by OTRS. And then if we find that there's a violation, it gets removed. It gets removed by the community member. We don't get involved directly. We support the community member. We help them understand that it should be removed or not. Uh, if you look at our transparency report, which we publish every six months, we actually list out, we, we, we say how many takedown requests we accommodate. And it's very small compared to other uh, large sites like us. So we're pretty good about it. But you're right, there's a, there's a, lot, of, um, uh, a lot of nuances, a lot of differences in the law, so we try to understand it to this regard, but it depends on um, a different view of contributors at the end of the day. Um, and lastly, uh, well, we are going to talk about uh, WikiKids in, the, in this uh, conference. So uh, I understand that there should be another layer of, uh, of protection or, or like yeah, some sort of uh, rule, or guideline or rules. How we are thinking of that? So this up to date. These are projects that have been initiated by different languages. So there's, I think, one in Sweden. Uh, there's very there few of them popping up. And because it's community that decides on what uh, policies they are, they're somewhat different. I'm personally interested in this because I think kids are a different audience. The language needs to be simpler. For schools, yes, you are, you, you are, you, you are absolutely right. They need to have different rules around them. So we are just, this is very, very early on. It's just in a, just a conversation right now. There's no plan for a project like that. It's all community driven at the, at the moment. So if uh, if Ruki Arabia, for example, wants to start a project, kids, we can. Uh, and you can put in, uh, into place your own rules around it. That's how there's. Approvals for each kid. The private approval and the kid approval. Yes, yeah, it's very complicated. I know I'm actually involved with a couple of uh, technology, um, education technology uh, um, uh, firms, and I understand how complicated it is. Uh, identity, especially child identity at school, is a very complicated thing. So uh, right now, it has to be started by you, and we are more on a response support um, of, of, your, uh, of your initiative. We're not driving this today. Thank you. The good point that you have to <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> They're outside. <laughs> so, we are lucky to have them. Uh, I would like to thank you, Leila, for this time. We are taking like two minutes from Ty's presentation. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's going to tell you a lot about education. So, so I'm not, you know, I don't know like the 1% of what he knows. So, let's wrap it up. Yeah. So, thank you so much. We move on to Ty. Thank you.